It looks like the U.S. military is making more moves now as they are effectively trying to surround Venezuela as there's not been a lot of talk about Venezuela in the news, in the headlines, kind of out of sight, out of mind. And in my opinion, this is the moment or the time frame here where they're going to take advantage of all this out of sight, out of mindness and make big moves. They're going to get guys into position. We already know that they were mounting up in Brazil. They were mounting up on the border in Colombia. We had seen troops coming in on the beaches. This was months and months and months ago. And really, an eerie silence falling over the whole thing pertaining to Venezuela. I guess everyone across the globe just thinks everything went back to normal life, right? It did not. As stores are still getting hit, there are still chaotic disruptions happening in the streets. Of course, you wouldn't know if you're tuned into the mainstream media because they're not saying a word about it. And let's not forget that Jack over on Twitter ordered the full censorship and crackdown of any information coming out of Venezuela. He flat out said that and did it. Blatant censorship. He pushed it and people just didn't care, it seems. And you're not going to hear much of anything over there on it. So... With all of this happening, I think it's wise to keep an eye on where they're positioning. This Guyana to the east here is an area they're trying to slide into, and they have a new four-month-long deployment where the U.S. Air Force has troops in here, and they're trying to take advantage of being able to fully surround Venezuela. They're trying to say also that it's going to be a strategic spot for them to counter Russia and China or anything else in this area if anything was to break loose. But this is the latest, and it's showing that the United States is making more moves here around Venezuela. And I would say if they're, they're mounting up doing this, there's more in the works down the road. I'll leave a link. It's been Dabu 7.